in the National Geographic Photo Engineering Lab, a dinosaur comes to life. Shaped from an aluminum cast and equipped with a pressure-driven mandible, this skull, scaled down by one-third, was built to depict the new science of dinosaurs in a dramatic style. The discovery of bone fragments in the fossilized feces of a Tyrannosaurus rex suggests the king of dinosaurs actually ingested the crushed bones of its prey. This T-Rex was built in order to demonstrate that theory. Ostrich bones will be this model's modern-day meal as the cameras attempt to capture the bite force of T-Rex. When it's time to take the picture, art director Chris Sloan and photo editor Kurt Meschler enlist photographer Rob Clark. Kurt Meschler and Chris Sloan are in the same uh, carpool, so I know they just think these things up as they drive home. You know, and they're like, let's see if he can do that. Technically what we're trying to do is capture the bone exploding in the mouth of this guy. They use several cameras, along with laser-triggered strobe lights. An additional Polaroid camera will let them know immediately if it's all working. We're going two seconds at F-16 on everything, guys. The laser trigger is on the jaw, the jaw shuts. The bone explodes and the strobes go off. One, two, three. It'll take a few bones to get it right. I think it doesn't work. Everything works except for the bone. At one point, it all becomes very technical. You do the pop, 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 but you do it when it hits here. And then when the ball, bone's coming down, you would get the pop, 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 because then it's in pieces. As it goes up, it's not in pieces. So let's fashion the bone on the top. It goes kabam, splinters, and then tut, tut as it goes down. On a project like this, it's all about trial and error. Lights. 1,001, 1,002, go. Yeah, I saw it. That was <laughs> so it's wet. Holy and with the push of a button, we have a photographic look at a T-Rex in action.